Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, respected uh, Vaishnavan and all the allied colleagues who are sitting out here, and my dearest uh, juniors who are here uh, for today's class, and all those uh, who are sitting online and giving their valuable time as well as energy. And uh, my dear juniors who are sitting in Mauritius and watching this lecture live, uh, warm welcome would be uh, lesser to stay, but uh, still. So I have been given the responsibility to teach you how to ride an aeroplane in the time that uh, I, I, I can barely teach you how to ride a bicycle. So just like the heart beats like uh, 40 million times a year, uh, we need to look at the ECG so many a times so that uh, we can have a detailed, in-depth idea about the piece of paper. So, without wasting much time, I think uh, we should go towards the presentation. So, at the outset, we'll just uh, see the ECG. I think we must have seen a million times this piece of paper every day while we are working in wards, while we are working in ICU every day. So, but what are the events that parallels this ECG is very important. So as we can see, the P wave, the event that is occurring is the ventricular feeling. At the time of QRS complex, the timing of cardiac cycle which corroborates to it is the isometric ventricular contraction. And uh, the T and the U waves mostly towards the end of the systole and the beginning of the diastole. Okay. So I would like to keep this lecture very, very simple so that uh, at the end of the lecture, you carry something out of this room. Okay, that is very important. I always believe that uh, discussion, uh, too much a discussion makes us a bit idle. So what is important, I would like to stress on that. Okay, so in all the slides, I'll try to stress on this, that specific parts, which will help you in your day-to-day -day proceedings when you are by the bedside and when you are looking at your patients and when you are thinking that what to do next, okay? So these are the steps in which uh, you look at an ECG. So many of my juniors, when I uh, tell them to look at the ECG, the first thing that they will tell me is that it's an MI. Okay. Many of them will tell sir, it's an pulmonary embolism. I'm really sorry, but that is not the way to tell when you receive a piece of paper. Okay. What you need to do is, ECG is not diagnostic. You can't diagnose something with a piece of 